Bowman here at BW1.com and some new leaked information about the Google Nexus One phone that's been put out there. We're going to go with some of the key aspects from there. First of all, we're going to start off with the price. And if you saw the tech shout out where me and uh, Thunder from BorderWork.com went over the Google Nexus One announcement, um, we kind of thought about this, about how the price was going to be. I have a feeling the phone will be cheap. I, I see maybe a $99 phone. Mm, yeah, I, I see. 90, I think ninety nine dollars eventually. I think one fifty at first. One fifty is a beautiful price range. Well, that didn't exactly pan out according to this information. We were kind of in a bit of a pipe dream mode there. You could say it's going to be five hundred thirty dollars completely unlocked and unsubsidized. So if you want it straight out, you just want the phone with no carrier, no contract, no plan, no anything. Five hundred and thirty dollars. That pretty much puts it in line with the Nokia and ninety-seven, ninety, and ninety-five. The uh, you know Sony Xperia phones that kind of come come into the market without a carrier, and so there's no any any way they subsidize the phone. So it's around that five hundred or thousand dollar price range. Get ready between there to grab the phone. So um, that's kind of a bit of disappointing news, but also not surprising because. You think you know Google could possibly break sort of the way the cell phone industry works completely if they were to bring out this phone unlocked for only you know two hundred dollars or so with as many features as it's offering with Android two point one. But it's also kind of disappointing that they didn't do it at the same time. Five hundred thirty dollars is pretty pretty much. But if you want to get it subsidized, they do offer a subsidized option to bring it to one hundred eighty dollars. You get the phone for one hundred eighty bucks, but you have to sign a two year contract with T-Mobile. And apparently they're only going to offer one plan, which um, with the plan, I think you have, you have to add text and you have to add um, a data package to it, is about $80 a month. So you can get the phone for $180, but you have to sign a two-year contract and pay $80 per month. But you can't sneak around that neither. What they kind of done is you have to keep it with 120 days. If you don't keep the plan within 120 days or return the phone directly to Google, they're going to charge you the difference of the phone. So it's another 350 bucks they're going to charge you if you don't keep the plan or you don't return the phone back to Google. Uh, that, that, that's kind of uh, interesting, too, that they're doing it that way. I, I don't want to say sneaky, but it's kind of like, you know, it, 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 it's, it's a good way, I guess, to prevent people from buying the phone at, you know, at $180 to cancel the contract and just paying maybe to cancel the fee for the contract, I guess. And, you know, try to get the phone at a cheaper rate. So basically, it's either $530 or... Less than uh, less than that at one hundred and eighty dollars, and you have a two-year contract with T-Mobile, which just kind of makes you think, you know, why didn't they just uh, sell the phone directly through T-Mobile anyway? Because most people are going to want it at a subsidized price. They're going to want it at one hundred eighty dollars. They're going to sign that contract. Kind of sucks, you know, considering you know, kind of all the hype and kind of what you speculate. I guess we kind of got our hopes up high a little bit, so I'm, I'm kind of a little disappointed about that. Um, some of the other things are you're going to be able to directly buy it at google.com slash phone so you're going to be able to directly buy it from there and apparently you can only buy up to five Nexus One phones per Google account so I don't know why you're going to need more than five per, you know, per Google account but you know if you need more than five uh, that would be pretty interesting for just you know, one Google account but at the same time um, sort of news kind of came out here it's just interesting it's kind of it's kind of, I think, brought the hype down a little bit where you really thought they were really going to make this big change where it was going to be, we're going to sell this phone at this price, it's going to be unlocked, and we're not going to choose a carrier or anything like that. It's just going to be out there, and you choose to carry it. Pretty much similar what happens in some of the European, you know, and Asian markets out there. But instead, you're really kind of like, you can get it unlocked and, you know, play around with it if you want to, or you can get it with T-Mobile. And the interesting thing is, it, it's if you really want the 3G here in America from T-Mobile, you're going to have to kind of use... You're going to have to get a T-Mobile plan or T-Mobile something because that's what it has already built into it right now. Unless there's some you know other phone models that come out. So if you want 3G coverage, you're going to have to get it with T-Mobile anyway. So the only benefit from this is if you do pay the $530 and you already have T-Mobile, you might have a cheaper rate plan than the $80 that you have to get if you decide to get it with a contract. So you might save some money in the long run by doing that. But um, other than that, that's just some other little news tidbits in there. Check, check my website at bw1.com. I'll have the full list of sort of a uh, boat list of some of the interesting um, things that came out from the leak specs. Like I said, this is leaked. This isn't, you know, fully confirmed or anything like that. But it's just kind of what's come out about it. So um, hopefully we'll get your thoughts on it here. You know, you can post a text response. 
You can do a video response. I hope Thundery at waterwork.com hopefully posts a video response to this as well. I want to get some of his feedback on what he thinks about this. And I want to get your feedback as well on what you think about this, you know, leaked news about the Google Nexus phone. So that's pretty interesting there. And if you might not have noticed, this is my 99th official video on uh, my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash bdb1.com. I'm going to be coming out with my 100th video. But the 100th video is going to be a special video and it's going to be a review video. If you kind of look around in this video, you can see what the review is going to be on. And it's going to be uploaded, my 100th video, January 1st, 2010. So the first video of the year is going to be my 100th video on YouTube. It's been a pleasure doing these videos. I'm, I'm happy to be a YouTube partner and sort of contribute to this, to this community out there of YouTube users. It's been a joy and I hope to be around for the next hundred videos, next thousand videos, or however so long I can I can do this. So you want to make sure you want to catch my hundredth video that's gonna be launched. It's gonna be launched January 1st, 20, 2010. All you need to do is subscribe to the YouTube page. Got click that yellow button. You're already on this page. Click the yellow button subscribe. We got a lot of news, a lot of tech, a lot of things that we wanna I wanna bring you know we wanna bring to you out there. So be sure to subscribe to the YouTube page, subscribe to the RSS feeds. We have tons of articles and news feeds that we put on a daily basis. You can check some of that out right through your RSS feeder. Also follow us at Twitter at twitter.com slash bw1.com or at bw1.com, B-W-O-N-E, D-O-T, C O M. So this is Bowman from BW1.com. Stay tuned for the 100th video. Give me your thoughts on the Google Nexus One phone and some of the leaked information here. And always remember to live your tech world in high definition.